I suppose there's a lot of praise for your team there because it, it's very difficult at the moment to get performances and victories and goals, I suppose, but they've worked hard and made it hard for us. Oh, yeah, I thought it was inc an incredible performance. I think even probably exceeded my expectation of what I thought we'd be able to produce today. I thought it was a, yeah, an unbelievable performance from a group that um, are obviously sort of low on numbers at the moment and unbelievably low on attackers. Um, and yeah, very proud of what they produced. I think negatives would be the second goal, disappointed with because we didn't deserve to lose 2-0 really. And um, yeah, losing 1-0 and not quite being able to to break them down is probably as bad as it should have been for us in the end um, they didn't deserve to suffer the second one but apart from that I thought yeah gutsy worked their socks off um, pressed really high sort of disrupted Arsenal's rhythm um, and came up a little bit short against one of the one of the best teams in, in world football so yeah n no shame in that this evening I, I guess it's it's not a new <coughs> a new thought that you're just short of attacking players though. Yeah, I think the group. Yeah, I mean, they were, I, I, I haven't checked, but I can't imagine there's another team in the country that are as short as we are at the moment. I think ten senior outfield players available to play ninety minutes today um, is a, is a tough situation. I think if you look at the number of injuries, it's probably not not in excess of some of the other clubs that are struggling with injuries. If you look at Newcastle, they've had a tough run with injuries, and Aston Villa have had a few missing, but. Their start point is probably 25 or 26 squad players and ours is 19. So um, you take seven away from 19 and it gets pretty short pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I think you can see from the crowd um, that they were very proud of what the lads were able to produce today against an excellent Arsenal side. Uh, even if you look at the ones that actually played for us, Totti and Booba, Hugo, you know, ones that we class as sort of senior players they've probably don't even know if they've played 25 started 25 Premier League games yet any of them Tommy Doyle's probably 10 maybe um, so there's it's a very very young group uh, very young team and an even younger squad obviously with the bench uh, Chani got through just over 45 minutes which was excellent for him uh, we discovered that Mario can play as a number 9 as well which was good Um my chat to him before I put him on was I'm sure you've done this in the park when you were a kid mate just go and play up front and see if you can score uh, he made some good runs in behind um, so yeah we're, we're trying to come up with things that give us a chance we knew it would be difficult to create chances you don't have to look too far to, to figure out that Arsenal were the, the best team defensively in the league they concede the least chances um, and then when you couple that with playing against a team that have zero attackers available, or we had Chani for a spell, but apart from that, zero attackers, it was going to be difficult to create chances with possession. So we tried to be more aggressive without the ball, pressed as high as we could, um, see if we could disrupt their rhythm and get some chances from sort of pressing and regains and use what we did have in the team, which was athleticism in Booba and Zhao and Tawanda, uh, Chani. And we created a, a really competitive game, which was... Yeah, which is an incredible effort from, from what we had available. Um, Gary, you mentioned it very briefly about the, the supporters. Um, considering the situation you're in you know, the squad, you need those that backing really. They were they were brilliant, weren't they? Today? Yeah, they were. They were far better than I could ever ask for or expect as well. I thought um, would be easy for them to feel a little bit down, and because probably like me, deep down we all want all our best players and available and. We want to be back where we were before Coventry, where people were talking about Europe and FA Cup runs. and um, But that's not the situation we're in and we have to make the best of what we have now. And the fans definitely did that. I thought they were, in, they were incredible. Um, I think our performance sort of helped them. They could feel there was an energy and an, an aggression and uh, trying to make it uncomfortable for Arsenal. Um, and they were able to buy into it and they pushed the lads and the lads kept pushing them and there was a real good connection and... Um, yeah, short of there just being a an equaliser, and us managed to scramble in one and coming away with a one-one. I thought it was, apart from that, it was a as about as good as we could have hoped to produce. What was you make of uh, Twandale's first? Uh... Yeah, very good. I thought he um, 
handled the ball well in difficult situations. Looked he looked like he could handle the physicality of the Premier League. You know, a couple of times up against Saliba and managed to wriggle out of things, and which isn't easy. Um, I'm pleased for him because I know when I've, I've put him on in the past, he's maybe felt like he's not quite shown what he is. Um, but difficult to go into Premier League games from the bench when you're a young player. So um, he was able to show more tonight what he's shown in training with us. And he, he, he has some promising bits and still in, incredibly early for him, you know, for us to be judging him at Premier League level now is probably un, unfair on him in, in his development. But it's the reality of, of the situation and it's an incredible opportunity for him. Uh, just very finally, you mentioned Buber and um, Diego getting sort of rest mm -hmm. on this season. Um, what do you make of the performance from, from the Pirates? Yeah, I like them both. I thought um, both of them carried out the role really, really well. Followed the tactical information fantastically well. Um, thought tactically we were we were almost perfect until late on in the game where we started to lose, understandably started to lose structure a little bit when we were really chasing. Um, but up until that moment, I thought both of them were excellent at the jobs they were given. Um, Hugo able to jump out and press Ben White very well, did some good bits with the ball. Boober around Odegaard, I thought made it very very difficult for him, showed good legs and athleticism and won the ball back numerous times. Um, so yeah, positive night for loads of them. Of course, disappointed that we're not able to add points, but um, yeah, sometimes in Premier League games you are able to take more than points and feel a little bit like that this evening where I'm sure everyone around Wolverhampton Wanderers would be able to sign up for those sort of performances and be proud of what uh, a group has produced in a, in a very tough situation. Okay. Yeah, no, Pedro's not close to playing at the moment. No, um, no, he's, he's still a little way away. Do you believe Pablo and Mario on the bench tonight? I mean, they should, they should be available to start the next two? Uh, yeah, hopefully. I think, um, yeah, it was tough. You know, when I... I was trying to pick a team for tonight, also with the rest of the week in mind. Um, trying to juggle. There's normally 100 minutes in a game now, so there's going to be 300 minutes that need to be played. And when there's only 10 available that can that can complete 90s, trying to juggle how you're going to get that 10, plus the younger players, of course, through, through the week and give us our chance of picking up the most points possible it was a tough call. Um, but felt that today we'd be able to produce sort of that high energy performance uh, and get a couple of them a bit of a rest and let Pablo's groin settle down even further. Um, and ho hopefully it'll do them both good to have not had to go through 90 minutes to this evening and hopefully they'll both be feeling a bit better come Wednesday. Yeah, we're hopeful. We're hopeful that that that, that doesn't mean it'll definitely make it. It's a, As I said, it's quite a rare rare injury so there's not too much to go off sort of history wise with how long they take um, he's feeling better again today um, Nelson's feeling better again today so uh, we, we won't take any crazy risks with anybody but the next two games are very important for us so pushing hard to get as many available as possible pleased that Ryan got through some minutes as well tried to take on the, the whole Arsenal team on his own announced his comeback to the world um, but yeah I thought he, he, it was good to have him back uh, yeah, you'll see more. Well, touch wood, you'll see more than twenty minutes of eight Nori against Bournemouth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably, probably. All right. Thanks, guys. See you later.